Hello, welcome to the ride. How many contestants are there? Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. Is this the first time on the ride for any of you? Oh, how nice, newbies. We'll be sure to include some extra instructions during the course of your ride. Go ahead, player one, and type in your name. Poor thing, didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. Let's have your name now, player two. Perfect, thank you. Player three, I await the touch of your fingers. Very good. Your buzzer, player one, is Q. That's Q, as in Queen of Sheba. Your buzzer, player two, is B, as in Da Bomb. Player three, to buzz in, press the letter P, as in Popsicle. And now, it's time for the best part of the ride. Remember, you're always getting closer to the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by the American Association of Taxidermatologists Limited. Whether you need tan skin or skin tan, your hide is safe in our hands. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers! Hey, how you doing? So, you three of the fur trappers, huh? Mm, not gonna touch that one. Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, you can gonna get some screws, and here you go. Alright, now pay attention and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screw. Now every time you do, you're gonna be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So, uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. Alright, I hope you got all that. Well, aren't you lucky? I'm about to show you some skin. Layer one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for this one. The category is... There's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, 3189 bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? If someone offers to teach you how to skin the cat, what should you bring to the lesson? Your cat, a butcher's knife and some twine. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a skateboard. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a yo-yo. Or your cat, a butcher's knife and some lotion. Player two, grab it! Skin the cat, also known as the tidal wave, is a yo-yo trick. And you know, if you have one of those razor edged yo-yos, you can skin the cat and skin the cat. Okay, player two, hit your buzzer and show us how. There you go, nice job. And we've got... Dermatology is the best medicine. Ready, set, here you go. Okay, one dermatologist jokes to the other, Hey, Alan, your epidermis is showing. The other responds, Well, Sid, your subcutaneous layer is showing. What might Sid say next? A lot of people have shingles, you know. Good Lord, get me a bandage! Please, Alan, that's just my cuticle. Or, oh, really? Hit it, player one! Ooh, very close. You know, little known fact, the cuticle is known in dermatology as the cuticle. <laughs> Who's going for it? Player, take it, player two! Yeah, a lot of people do have shingles. Eh, it's a shame, really. <laughs> player three, go! The subcutaneous layer of tissue lies beneath the epidermis and the dermis, so if that's showing, then Sid's got some serious problems. Well, aside from thinking that the epidermis is showing joke is actually funny. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash is up for grabs. Oh yeah! Hey, nice hit, Goldfinger. All right, the category is... Your skin glows as if you've had a nutritional meal. Here's the question. According to some experts, humans can get all the nutrients they need from consuming just two things. What would be the best name for a product that can buy... Player 3, do it! Some food experts say we can get all the nutrients we need from a diet of milk and potatoes. 
Yeah, I think one of the experts is from Idaho and the other one's from Wisconsin. Go figure. Buzz in player three, and let's see how much cash is riding on this one. And your category is... Do you peek after you strip? Hey, I, you know that song Dean Martin's known for singing called That's Amore? Well, there's a reason I bring it up, okay? Check out these alternate lyrics. When the strip hits your pore, opens it like a door. What is that? That's Biore, that's Atari, that's Cacciatore, or that's a Pore. Player two! <laughs> Who wants it? All yours? Keep hammering on that S key, don't- oh, you got an answer at player three. What's the right answer? Answer number four. When somebody screws up, picks the one I made up, that's a pore. <laughs> player, player one. Biore makes those poor perfect strips that pull out dirt and blackheads from your disgusting face. And what you rely on when Biore is all gone, that's called duct tape. Player one, give me some buzzer. Let's check out that cash. Time for a little roadkill. All right, let me tell you how this game works here. You're going to get different pairs of things that are somehow related, and you're going to see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. It's your buzzer when you see the item that correctly links the two. I'm giving out a thousand bucks if you get it right, but choose wisely. You lose a thousand dollars every time you're wrong. At the end, there's going to be a bonus question worth bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Got it? Good. We're off. Like them for murder, it keeps time. Son blank. What do these two have in common? time what do all the correct answers have in common are they all medieval toys these are our lives characters what to do in a payphone three of them so oh yeah player three man you were teed up on that one you better break open the bubbly Hey, player three leads the old tote board there, but uh, hey, things can change. It's your buzzer, player three. Let's see how much moolah is in the kitty. This baby's gonna be... Fill her up the hard way. Look out, here it comes. If the local fast food joint offers free capillary refills, what will they do to you? Press your fingernails, punch your face. Here you go, player three. Cut your hair? Nah, no, that's if they're offering free short and curly fries. <laughs> Hit it, player one! No, but that's what I about did last time they are out of those shamrock shakes, though. <laughs> Take it, player two! You can check for good blood circulation by pressing a fingernail and watching the blood refill into the capillaries. And then you can peel back the nail to see if you're an instant winner. 
Player two, hit that buzzer and let's see what you're gonna be going for on this one. This one's called Sex Addicts. Hey, uh, are you a sex addict? If you just can't get enough formication, how might you enjoy doing the deed? Only with Norm Crosby while tattoos are being remembered. Player two. All right, player two, who are you gonna screw? Hello, you're screwing yourself, you perv. Give me an answer. Went for three, let's see. Formication is an itching sensation that feels like ants are crawling all over your skin. And by ants, I mean the insects, you know. If you got relatives crawling all over you, that's a whole nother condition you got there. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this bad boy. All right, player two. Hey, player two, knock players one and three off their chairs, because you're getting your very own this or that. And this this or that questions category is... You can be too rich and too skinny. All right, I'm going to list off seven items. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a name that includes light or a name that includes slim. As each one comes up, if it's something light or light something, press one. If it needs the word slim, press two. And press four if you can't think of the right answer. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. Keep an eye on the wire. When it fills up, you're done. And we're up. Miller, is it lighter slip? Right? Jim. Fast. D. Pinkin. Six out of seven. Nice day at the plate. All right, player three, it's all you right now, but uh, let's see what happens. All right, buzz in, player one, and let's see how much cash is up for grabs. This one will be... Do I use the small fork on myself or the big one? Okay, suppose you're attending a formal dinner party at a swanky home in the Hamptons. Funny thing is, the host is a flesh-eating virus, and you're the featured course. Because you're the meat course at a formal dinner, when will the viral dinner guests begin dining on you? Right before the dessert, right before the soup, right before the salad, or right after the bucket of booze? Player three, do it! Hey, no dessert for you until you get something right. <laughs> player one, player two, who wants it? All yours, player one. You obviously know nothing of fine dining. Uh, pass the mayo, please. The soup's a little thin. Thank you. Player two! No, but remember, when serving the bucket of booze, always serve from the left in a chilled stainless steel bucket. All right, that blew. The bad news is you'll be eating right before the salad. Uh, the good news is if there's anything left of you, you'll have plenty of room for dessert. Player one, buzz in. How much cash are you going to make on this one? And for your viewing pleasure, I can stop using lip balm anytime I want to. Here comes the questione. Oh, no. The FDA has outlawed Carmex. Based on its ingredients, what might you rub on your lips instead of the addictive lip balm? Rose petals. Here you go, player three. Carmex is made with beeswax. Well, player three, I promised you dessert when you got one right, so uh, what do you want? So you got some leftover fruitcake or uh, half a Zagnut? Player three, hit your buzzer and lock in the cash for this one. Hey, that'll work. All right, here's your category. Sports that need more nudity. And away we go. If you're skinny dipping at the Skins game, who's seeing your naked rump on national TV? Unbelieving soccer viewers, violated NASCAR fans, sick and golf enthusiasts, or disgusted tennis buffs? Player three, go! The Skins game is an annual golfing event. The Senior Tour has one as well as the PGA and the LPGA. 
And you know, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Golf enthusiasts don't like anything distracting them from the excitement of watching other people play golf. Okay, player three, buzz in and set the cash value. Get ready for... Love your liver spots. Question, please? What weapon would work best against Detective George Francisco from the TV show Alien Nation? A dog whistle, a can of insecticide, a switchblade comb, or a squirt gun filled with salt water? Okay, went for the first one. How'd you do? Silly, dogs can't whistle. <laughs> hey, take it, player two. You know, I think spraying them with insecticide is just gonna get you a nice ride downtown. <laughs> hey, take a shot, player three. Player three, go! A comb? Well, I might make Alf a little nervous, but... <laughs> Okay, excellent. Good job. Yeah, try this one. In Alien Nation, Detective Francisco is an alien, and uh, the aliens can't take the salt water. It burns their skin. But man, good luck trying to beat him in a sour milk chugging contest. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. What a lovely shade you are. You've got the clue. Let's see what you can do with it. Later. Boy, Player 3, that was a real challenge. You know, beating two numbskulls who can't even break zero. Tonight on Investigative Copy. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV and I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it to the toilet, but well, there it was. It's beautiful. I think it's a sign from God. There are no words to describe this man's wondrous anus, blessed by our Holy Savior. But is it really a sign from God? I've been here for three days, and the anus seems to weep at regular intervals, but they're almost too regular. I actually bottled some of the tears of the anus, and quite frankly, they have no healing properties. I'm, I'm just a guy who likes eating chips and, and watching TV. The Ohio weeping anus, God's miracle or Satan's curse? Tonight. This week on the James Brown Celebrity Scrabble Tournament, the Godfather of Soul takes on former child star Rusty O'Dean. What? 57 points. H, 
W-U-N-A-W-U-H? What? That's not a word. Wait a minute. Jump back. Come on, this is fair. I think it was fair. It's a joke. Tuesday after Hallie McNeil. Is your home in desperate need of appliances? Then come on down to Crazy Leo's House of Used Appliances. Right, Crazy Leo? There's a travesty of shaved electric bacon in my short. We've got blenders. Lots of blenders. Crazy Leo, tell them about our blenders. My toothbrush is littered with people walking their damn dogs. We also have air conditioners for your home or office. I can hold 80 Lincoln Head pennies in my mouth, you idiot. Come on by this Saturday, and the kids get free balloons and a chance to sit on Crazy Leo's lap. In my day, you danced with your pants on your head if you wanted to get a young girlie's attention. Oh, easy there, Leo. That gown's opening.